With so many options today, finding the right web designer can be difficult, but it really doesn't have to be. There's some key questions you can ask, which will really help narrow your choices down. Today's guest will discuss local web design services and share some insider tips on what to look for when searching for the best. Using an online store to sell products is becoming more and more popular. Store owners often ask me how they can earn a shopper's trust so that their shoppers can complete their purchase. The problem is, online shoppers will leave if your store's functionality is not fully optimized. A potential buyer will lose interest in the seller and leave the site never to come back. Searching for the right professional to optimize your online store can be difficult since not everyone is doing online stores. Thus finding someone who understands how to optimize an online store will go a long way towards earning your shoppers trust. Here are some of the best practices to optimize your online store. Number one, always use high resolution images and optimize your file size. You need to be able to zoom in on your image to see all its detail. Don't just copy images off of other sites. It's a terrible practice, technically illegal, and the result, you'll not have a good image to view. So the good way to get images is to go to a professional stock photo website or to have your images professionally taken in high resolution format. Once you have that high resolution image, it's not enough to just upload it to your site. You need to optimize it to reasonable file size, otherwise the image may take time to load, causing a potential buyer to lose interest or to click off your site. I recommend the resolution size to be a minimum of 512 pixels along its shortest edge and under 2 megabytes in file size. But if you can get the file size to under 1 megabyte, that's awesome. Number 2. Write a product description. A great one. I can't tell you how crazy it drives me when people use irrelevant descriptions, or even worse, poor grammar. It gives me the impression that they don't really care so much about their customers. Appeal to your customer's emotions by placing yourself in his or her shoes. This is your product. Has it appealed to you? For example, if you are selling a yoga mat that is environmentally safe, instead of just writing, quote, environmentally safe yoga mat, unquote, write something to the effect of saying, you will feel great about yourself as you engage in your practice at the same time, protect the environment. Your description should be concise and each paragraph should be no more than two to three sentences. More than that is exhausting to the eye. If your product has unique features you would like to list, do so in the end in a neat bulleted list following your light and sunny description. Number three, optimize your online store for mobile viewing. Today, most people are viewing websites on their smartphones rather than on a desktop or a laptop. On a phone, you want to make sure your text is laid out properly. You don't want it to be hard to scroll up and down, or you don't want to show too much on the viewer. The great thing about Wix is that you can preview how your site is going to look even before you publish it. You can hide certain elements you don't want to have on your mobile viewer, or just leave what's relevant to get the item to sell. Fountain Web and Marketing Solutions is a New York City-based company which specializes in e-commerce websites. We are committed to the success of your online store, optimizing it to run smoothly so you can tend to the needs of your business. Contact us today for a free evaluation of your site, and when you decide to work with us, you'll receive optimization of up to three of your high-resolution images. For more information or to schedule a free initial consultation, visit our website at fountainweb.nyc. Hard to believe it, but with the right professional, the vision is always clear and focused. Are you interested in learning more? Today's guest can be reached at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching.